So we're going to get going. We're going to have a look at our lesson for tonight. And like I said to you, our lesson for tonight is on area and perimeter of circles. It's quite exciting because last I left of you guys, last time I left you, we were busy doing area and perimeter, and we were doing perimeter, and we've made that table. So tonight, if you want to go and add to that table, that's cool. If you want to do new notes, fine as well. Let's have a look. So area and perimeter of a circle. Firstly, we're going to break down the circle piece by piece. Okay. So if we're looking at this circle, let's make it a bit bigger. Okay. If we're looking at this circle, then there's certain things on this circle that we would need to know about. Okay. The first thing on this circle that we need to know about is the circumference. So circumference. All right. Circumference, okay, is the space around the outside or the distance around the outside of a circle. Also normally known as the perimeter, but for a circle, we call it circumference. Okay. All right. The next thing we need to look at here is the diameter. So the next thing we look at is diameter. And guys, a diameter, a diameter goes from one half of the circle through the center to the other side of the circle. Now, what's nice about the diameter is the diameter actually cuts the circle into two semicircles or half a circle. Okay, so your diameter goes from one point on the circumference through the center to the other point on the circumference. Okay. The next line we're going to look at is the radius. So our radius, and the radius goes from the center to the circumference of the circle. Now, it's also important to state here that we know that the radius, so or the diameter, is equal to 2 of the radius, okay? Or we could say that the radius equals half of the diameter. So if you're looking for the radius and they've only given you the diameter, then you're going to say half of the diameter equals the radius. If you're looking for the diameter and they only gave you the radius, then you're going to say two times the radius to give you the diameter. All right. An arc. So let's go back here. If we're looking at the arc, so here's the arc over here. The arc is a portion of the circumference on the circle. So it's like a little portion of the circumference on the circle, okay? And finally, the last word that we need to look at there is sector. So the last word that we're looking at here is sector. The sector is the space, okay? It's like a piece of pizza, all right? It's a piece of pizza. It's two of the radius and a piece of the arc, but it's on the inside. Somebody in the last class also asked me, ma'am, what about a chord? So a chord, okay, goes from one edge of the circle to another edge. Okay, it does not go through the center of the circle. So that's the difference. It does not go through the center of the circle. Okay. Let's make sure we have carried them all. Yes. Okay. So if we're looking at all those names, and I will make it a bit smaller a little bit later on so you guys can take a screenshot. All right. Let's look at perimeter next. So perimeter for circles, we don't call it the perimeter in a circle. We call it the circumference. The length of the circumference is calculated using the following formula. So it's calculated. And when I did this with you guys last week, I remember we put this formula in. We say circumference equals 2 pi times r. Where r represents the radius of the circle. Or we could say circumference equals pi times b. Because we know that the radius is the same thing as saying diameter, 2 times the diameter. Oh, sorry. We know that the diameter is the same thing as saying two times the radius. Apologies, guys. So instead of having two pi r, we could have pi times b. 
And the last thing they said here is that remember that for any circle, for any circle that you've got, you can calculate pi by taking the circumference and dividing by the diameter. But guys, this is not one that you need to necessarily know. Okay, so that's not one that you need to necessarily know. All right, if we're looking at area, okay, area is equal to pi r squared, where r represents the radius of the circle. Okay, so let's make that a little bit smaller for you guys in case you want to take a screenshot of all those notes all together. There we go. Okay. Right. Let's carry on with our notes. So, the next thing we're looking at here is we're looking at a semicircle. So, a semicircle is half of a full circle. In the first example that Ms. Kath put into the notes here for us, it says the perimeter of the semicircle is half of the circumference of a full circle. So, in this case, we've got but the circumference is equal to half times pi times two, times two pi r. Okay, so we're saying two pi r is what the circumference normally is, all right? But if we want to know what half of that is, half the circle, we're going to times it by a half. That will give us the space around the arc. If you want to calculate the circumference of this shape here, where we've got the arc, and then we've got the diameter, okay, then you can say circumference equals pi r, so half times 2 times pi times r, pi r plus the diameter. So Abu is saying to me, it's like dividing it by 2. That's correct, yes. If you're calculating the area, guys, for either of those, the formula is going to stay the same. Area equals pi r squared. But because it's a half, we're going to times it by a half. So area is equal to a half pi r. All right. Let's look at the next space. Okay. The next drawings we've got there is of a quarter circle. So a quarter. A circle is a quarter of a full circle. So to calculate the perimeter of a quarter circle, so this space over here, we would say a quarter times 2 pi r. So we take our normal circumference and we just multiply it by a quarter, or somebody's saying there, we're dividing it by 4. Same thing. If we want to get, all right, the um, circumference of the or the perimeter of the whole shape so that line this line and this line then we're going to say a quarter times 2 pi r plus the radius plus the radius and finally if we're looking at the formula for area area equals pi r squared right area equals pi r squared but for a quarter we're going to say a quarter times by pi r squared, or you can say pi r squared divided by four, same thing. All right, time for a screenshot there, in case you don't have all of that written down. Time for a screenshot, guys. All right. All got it? Hope so. Okay, time for us to go do some practice. All right, it's really important that we go do practice and we make sure that we understand. It's good to write all our notes, okay? The math is a practice subject, so we have to practice the questions now. So let's have a look at our practice questions for tonight. In our first question, we've got a circle. They're asking us to calculate the area and the circumference of the circle. And they've given us the radius of 10 centimeters. So I'm going to go right here for you. Radius equals 10 centimeters. All right, I'm giving you one or two minutes. OK. 
Okay, giving you one or two minutes to calculate that. All right, somebody's asking me, ma'am, does it have to always form a right angle? If it's a quarter of a circle, then it will form a right angle because we're dividing the circle by four. So in that case, yes. But if you've got different parts of the circle, let's say they say you've got a third of the circle or they say you've got um, an eighth of the circle, then no, it won't form a right angle. But if it's a quarter of a circle, yes, it will have a right angle. Right, two minutes to just go try that out, guys. Okay, let's go have a look at the circumference. I'm getting my calculator ready and the area. Let's see what we got. Okay, so really important that you write out the formula. Remember last week I was saying to you guys that you always get a mark for the formula. So I'm going to go do area first. So area equals pi r squared. Pi is pi because I'm going to use my calculator times pi. In this case, r is 10 and we're squaring it. So 3 comma 1, 4. Sorry, so apologies. Pi times by 100 equals. What do you get, guys? Who's going to give me the answer in the chat? Who's going to give me the answer in the chat? That's it. We're calculating the area. Sorry, Quinn, did I say circumference? Apologies. Okay, so we're calculating the area. Well done. Nice, Abu. Good, Emma. Anybody else? Do it on the calculator, please. We're all putting it on the calculator. We need to get practice. Okay, we need to get practice. So put it on your calculator. Okay, I've got two people so far. Come on, guys. Nice, Quinna. Good. Well done, everybody. So three one four comma one six centimeters squared. Guys, a reminder: they'll often tell you, okay? They'll often say to you, um, round off to two decimal places. All right. If they don't say that, then you automatically round off to two decimal places. In some questions, they might say round off to one decimal place. They might say round off to the nearest whole number. You just need to make sure that you check. But if they don't say it, two decimal places is always your go-to. Right, so that was the area. Let's do circumference. Circumference equals 2 pi r. So I've got 2 times pi times 10. Okay, go and calculate that one for me. All right, ma'am, what's the difference between area and perimeter? Uh, Abu has answered there. Well done, Abu. So perimeter is the distance around the outside. Remember, we were speaking last week, perimeter, Peter, perimeter, Peter, perimeter, Peter. If you weren't here last week during my lesson, go back and watch that, okay? Perimeter is always the space on the outside, whereas area, area is the answer on the inside. Ma'am, what happens when you don't convert the answer to a decimal? You need to convert the answer to a decimal. So if it comes up with a um, pi sign still on your calculator, you need to press equals again, okay? So my circumference, I'm getting some correct answers there in the chat. We get 62,83 centimeters. Well done, guys. Well done, well done. Lots of lots and lots of area, um, uh, answers tonight, well done. Okay, right. Hopefully you've got a screenshot of that. If you didn't get the answer down, Okay, if you didn't get the answer down, you've got a screenshot. All right. Um, ma'am, why does the difference, sorry, ma'am, why does the formula for circumference have a two in front of the pi? So remember, when you're doing the formula for um, circumference, the formula is always two pi r, or you could say pi times b. It's easier to just say two pi r though. 
whereas area is pi r squared. How do you remember the difference between the two? Okay, how do you remember the difference between the two? Remember, when you're doing the answer for area, your answer is always going to have squared centimeters because it's area. That's how you know that area is pi r squared, whereas circumference is 2 pi r. Okay. All right, so let's look at B together. Go have a look at B, guys. Two minutes, area and perimeter. Okay, um, while you're doing that, somebody is saying an area, why do we say centimeters squared? It's because we normally are multiplying things. I know that here with circles, we're multiplying everything. So ma'am, why aren't we saying it there? But with area, we always multiplying two units by each other. And so that's why it's normally squared. Okay. Um, somebody is saying, ma'am, how do you get the circumference? I came late. We're going to do another example now so you can have a look at how we do that. All right. Okay, one more minute. One more minute. All right, let's have a look. So I'm gonna go tell myself they've given me the diameter the diameter equals six meters. If they've given me the diameter, can I calculate what the radius is? Okay, yes, I can. I take the diameter, I divide it by two, and I get three meters. All right. So now, if I'm doing the area, area equals pi r squared. So pi times by three squared equals pi times three squared guys what do you get good i'm getting one person somebody also sent me a private message with it good well done nice nice well done 28,27 meters squared. If you've got something different, maybe you need to put the diameter in instead of the, the radius, okay? So that might be the reason you're getting a different answer. Be careful, all right, be careful. Then, to get circumference, circumference equals two pi r. So two times pi times three. Right, what do you get, guys? Okay, 18,85. Well done. Meters. Well done. Well done. Why not meters squared? Because it is the space around the outside. Okay, 18,85. Well done, guys. All right. I'm going to leave this up on the screen for you a little bit because I think some people are still writing. Okay, but underneath that is C. Underneath that is C for you guys. Go try out C. I'm going to go check in the chat if anybody had any questions for me. Go check out C for me. Okay, go have a look at C. All right, let's see. Somebody asked me, good evening, ma'am. When will we do a lesson on probability and statistics? Because the school I go to started last term and ends after this term. So probability and statistics, okay, is probably still coming, I think. Let's double check for you. However, what you can do, what's really nice about Watobi, if you go onto YouTube, all right, or onto Watobi's website, you'll also be able to find some of the lessons from last year. Okay, so if it's not coming up soon and you're writing exams before we do it, um, there is also the possibility for you to do it. 
you um, on with Toby's lessons for last year. So I don't see it in this term. Miss Simone, did you maybe do it in another term? I think Miss Simone was telling me earlier that her computer was giving mm -hmm. her some problems. Oh, there we go. Yes, I am here now. <laughs> Ms. Um, Simone, did you do probability and stats maybe last term? Oh, there we go. I've managed to get into it. So I didn't see probability and stats last term. No, we didn't do probability and stats in term two or term three. Okay. But I wasn't here for term one. So it possibly okay. could have been done there. All right. I'm just going to have a look if I can find it. If you if we didn't do it um, this year yet, it means you can go on to a Toby site and you can go and have a look there. Though. Okay. So grade nine, grade nine. All right, so I'm not seeing it on our list. So make sure that you go onto Watobi's YouTube site, okay? So you go onto YouTube, you um, type in Watobi and you'll be able to find the channel. Go and have a look there. You'll have videos online there, okay? All right, somebody is asking me a question on the last one. They said, I got lost when you started. How did you get three from six? Okay, six is the diameter. How do you get the radius? You say diameter divided by two. So six divided by two gives you three. Okay, guys, let's have a look at C. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at C. So for C, do you agree that this is a half a circle? So it's a half a circle. They gave me my diameter. My diameter is seven millimeters. If that's my diameter, okay, I don't want to work with my diameter. I want to work with my radius. And so my radius is going to be three comma five millimeters. How did I get that? I said seven divided by two. All right. I'm going to start with area. So the area is going to be equal to half. Why half? Because it's half of a circle times by pi r squared. So a half times by pi times by 3 comma 5 squared. Okay, guys, go give me the answer, please. What is the answer? Right, I'm seeing some of the right answers there. So the right answer will give us 19,24 millimeters squared. Well done. 19,24 millimeters squared. Right. Now I want to go do the circumference. So the circumference is also equal to a half. It's 2 pi r. But we mustn't forget that that only takes us around this side over here. What else do we want to do to get the circumference or the perimeter around? We need to add the bottom, hey? So we need to remember that we need to add the diameter in this case. Okay. All right, so I've got a half, two times pi times 3 comma 5 plus 7. Now, I want to make sure that I remind you guys, make sure you are using your brackets for this one, okay? Make sure you're using your brackets. All right. Who has an answer for me? This one's a bit tricky. This one's a bit tricky. Okay, so let's have a look. So my answer is 17,9955742875. I want to round off to two decimal places. So I go and I look at the second decimal place and I put a circle around the third one. That third one is a five, guys, which means what happens? It's going to increase my decimals. So this 99 is going to become 100 and I'm going to get 18 millimeters. 
Okay. Right. Make sure that when you put this in, that you put the brackets. So be careful. If you got a different answer or a weird answer, it might be because you forgot to put brackets in. Okay, it might be because you forgot to put brackets in. All right, I'm going to bring the next drawing up in the meantime, so you guys can go practice while people are still taking a screenshot there. Someone's asking me, ma'am, would it still be fine to use pi r plus d? Absolutely, because the half and the two would cancel each other out. Well done. So when it's a half a circle, you put half. That's right. So that means, Quena, what happens if it's a quarter circle now? What are you going to put if it's a quarter circle? What are you going to put if it's a quarter circle, guys? Good. A quarter. Well done. Okay. I'm going to help you out here a little bit. I'm going to tell you. This is a quarter. Oh, I don't like writing fractions like that. I don't want to lose marks in the test or the exam. So this is a quarter. If that side is a radius and it's 8, 6, then this side will also be 8, 6 centimeters. Okay. I'm going to give you a little bit more help. I'm going to tell you that the radius equals 8,6 centimeters. I'm going to move this up for you guys. Okay, so you guys have two minutes to do that while I go see if there's any questions for me. So Ma'am, are we going to do classifications of numbers and simple and compound interest? So that was in term one. So if you go back to the videos on Watobi's site or on YouTube, and you go all the way back to lessons from the beginning of the year, you'll find classification of numbers and you'll find finance there. All right. Does the pi have a number itself? No, pi is a fraction, actually. It's um, normally 22 over 7. And when we divide that, we get a all the decimals in it, okay? But no um, pi, you're going to use pi on your calculator unless they tell you otherwise, okay? Um, for a quarter circle, can we like add diameter instead of adding two radius? Yeah, I agree. If you want to do that, that's perfect, okay? Does it include inequalities as well? I'm assuming that you're asking me from the lesson from before what we were talking about. So it should have inequalities in it, yes. If you're talking about inequalities in terms of algebra, though, you need to go look in the algebra lessons for that. Okay. All right. The other ones, Miss Cat has answered. So that's cool. All right. Let's go have a look. So I'm going to have area. And area this time is going to be a quarter pi r squared. So a quarter times pi times r is 8,6 squared. All right. Go get the answers for me, guys. OK, good. Well done. Getting some nice answers there. Good. Good. So we're going to get 58,09 centimeters squared. Okay, if we're doing the circumference, for the circumference now, we need to say a quarter times by 2 pi r plus a radius plus a radius. So a quarter, 2 times pi times 8,6 plus 8,6 plus 8,6. Running out of space there. Okay, what do we get? All right, I want to see everybody. I want to see loads of people sending answers, please. If you're not sending your answers, it means that you're not doing the work. So let's go. Either you're sending your answers or you can also talk to me so you can raise your hand and I can answer you in the chat. All right, good. I'm getting some same answers as mine. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Good. Well done. Keep practicing. Good. Well done. So I'm going to get 
30, 71 centimeters squared. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay, so we're all practiced out on this. All right, I want to move us down to another section. Okay, I want to move us down to another section. All right, so let's go have a look. Oh, guys, you are right. I was just checking to see if you're awake. Just checking, just checking. It doesn't have a square on it. Apologies. Apologies. I was just checking, just checking to make sure you're awake. Okay, let's have a look at another kind of question that you would get in this section. So the question says, a feature door in a museum needs to be painted. Calculate the area of the door, stating your units, and rounding your answer to the nearest whole number. So have a look at that one for me. All right, no need to be worried. Okay, no need to be worried. All right, give that one a try. So give that one a try. Okay, I'm going to move up quickly so if people can take a screenshot of the last one, guys. Apologies. Here we go, Sinele. All right, moving back down. Okay, so again, you're calculating the area, guys. You're calculating the area. I'm giving you two minutes. I'm giving you two minutes. Okay, two minutes, but one minute left, one minute left. Miss Kirsty. Miss Simone. I'm getting some questions about the last um question that we did sure. but i can't for the life of me now remember what okay. the diagram looks like so i'm gonna just send it through to you and you can That's either perfect. do it after this one or you know whenever no you get problem, a chance Mr. To we'll do thank you so much thank you. okay All right, guys, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so, all right, so, we've got a semicircle on the top, okay, so half a circle on the top, all right, and we've got a square on the bottom. So, if this side equals 10 meters, it'll mean that this side over here is also equal to 10 meters. And if I'm looking at that in terms of my circle or my semicircle, it means that the diameter equals 10 meters. So what would the radius be equal to? What would the radius be equal to? Diameter is 10, what's the radius gonna be equal to? The radius equals five, good. So I wanna calculate the area. I've got two shapes here. The first shape that I've got is a square. We practiced it last week. We said the area for a square is side squared. Plus, then I've got half a circle, so a half times pi r squared. Okay, go work on that for me. I'm just going to go answer this question that somebody had. Okay, so somebody was asking, why are we putting 8, 6, 3 times? So we're not putting it three times. First of all, you need to make sure you're following the formula. So the formula said circumference equals a quarter, two pi r, so that was for the semicircle, plus the one radius plus the other radius. So when we're looking at the shape, what we did here was we took this, and that's for this part of it, plus this side, plus this side to get the perimeter or the circumference. Okay, so here, this would have been for that part, this would have been for that part, and this would have been for the final part. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, so let's go fill this in. We've got 
open bracket, 10 squared plus a half pi times my r is 5 squared. Guys, make sure you put it in the brackets correctly. Okay, make sure you're putting in the brackets correctly. So for my square, I get 100 plus, okay, plus, all right, for my semicircle here, I've got, Thirty nine comma two seven. And for my final answer, I want to remind you what did we need to do? The instruction said round off to the nearest whole number. Make sure you're taking note of that. So if I'm rounding this off to the nearest whole number, it's going to be a hundred and thirty nine meters square. Okay, always make sure. Right. Okay, guys. So make sure you've got a screenshot of the answer. Man, I forgot the decimals. I didn't forget the decimals. It asked you to do round off to the nearest whole number. Okay. All right, so let's see. So we had, for this shape, we have the area of two shapes on top of each other. We've got the area of a square and we've got the area of a semicircle, half a circle. So the area of a square is side squared plus the area of the semicircle is a half pi r squared, okay? We put in our answer, so we substitute in all our figures. So we've got 10 squared plus a half times by pi, times by, we worked out r earlier on to be five, so we said five squared, and then our final answer gives us 159. 139. I see I've got a question at last. Okay, Nomsi? Hi Nomsi, do you have a question? It sh you should be able to un unmute yourself. All right, maybe you can put your question in the chat. Let's go to, oh, there we go. Hello? Hello, hello. What's your question? Ma'am, in the visuals that, you, that are on YouTube, are the explanations on numeric and geometric patterns and also for foil and distributed law? Yes, there are there are videos on that. Absolutely. So number pattern, yes, distributive law, absolutely. Go have a look on YouTube. They're definitely there. Or you can look on with Toby's site. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. Have a look at this one, guys. Have a look at this one. My word, we're throwing in some hard ones here for you tonight. Some challenging ones, not hard ones, challenging ones. Have a look at this one. All right, I'm going to help you out, okay? I'm going to help you out. All right, first of all, they want area. It's a full circle, okay? It's a full circle. They want the area. Area equals pi r squared. But guys, I'm missing r. Here's r over here. R goes from the center to the edge of the circle. Okay. And it's missing. I'm missing it. R. What kind of triangle is that? What kind of triangle is that? Good. Nice, guys. Pythag. Pythag. It's a right angle. Well done. So, to get R, I'm going to say R squared equals. 3 squared plus, oh, I've hit another problem. I hit another problem, guys. My next problem is that this whole line equals 8 centimeters. I don't want the whole line. I just want the line that is in my triangle. 
I just want the line of it. They gave me the line, the whole line. I don't want that. I just want the line which in my triangle. And you guys are telling me, well done. It's four. Now, don't forget, geometry is a sob sister. She's a sob sister. So what does that mean? She's asking you why, 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 why is this true? Why, guys? Why? Why? Because of Pythag. Thank you. You have to have a reason. No reason, no mark. So I get R squared equals. I put that on my calculator. It's 25. So R gives me 5 centimeters. So now can I go finish this question off? Yes, I can. I can go and say pi times 5 squared. Okay. So it might look confusing, but actually it's not too bad once you break it down, hey? It's not too bad once you break it down. So pi times by five squared gives me 78. And we're going to do normal decimals now, comma, five, four centimeters squared. Okay, it was a tricky one. I'm not saying it wasn't tricky. But once you break it down, it becomes a lot better and a lot easier to see. All right. Okay. All right. We're not going to do that one. That one's what similar to one we did before. We're going to do these last ones for tonight. So my question says. Mm, Okay, calculate, all right, calculate the radius of this, and they've given you the area. Calculate the radius of this, but they gave you the area. So they want you to go calculate the radius, but they gave you the area. So give it a try. Okay, calculate the radius, but they gave you the area. All right. Um, people are asking me to go back and to screenshot the last one. No problem. Hopefully, people that are doing that one have got it down. There we go. Somebody's asking me, Mom, why did you say four instead of eight? Eight is the distance of the whole line. I don't want the whole line. I just want the part that's in my triangle. Okay, I just want the part that's in my triangle, so I need to say eight divided by two. All right, so give me four for this last one. Okay, hopefully you've got that in a screenshot, guys. All right, so let's get going. Area equals pi r squared. We know that. We know that we've been doing it for a while now. They told us the area was 15. Pi is pi, okay? And we don't know what r is, so r squared. All right. What is the first thing we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to try to get r all by himself. And to get r all by himself, I need to divide this side by pi. Whatever I do to the one side, I'll do to the other side. What happens when I divide by pi here? Pi and pi cancel out here. Eh? So now I've got 15 over pi equals r squared. Okay. If you're working on one of those really nice fancy calculators, then you can do this all in one go. I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't have one of those fancy calculators as well. Okay, but let's start by doing it on the fancy calculator. I don't want r squared. What's the opposite of squaring? I need to square root. Whatever I do to the one side, I must do to the other side here. Okay. And so on my calculator, all right, on my calculator, two decimal places. Let's go and see. I don't have one of those fancy schmancy calculators here. I'm going to try as best I can. Let's see if my calculator will let me do it. 
I'm going to have the square roots of pi divided by, oh, no, 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 no. So again, I'm going to have the square roots of 15 divided by pi equals. All right, I get R gives me 2,19 centimeters. Guys, that's if you put it in your calculator all in one go. So if you put in your calculator all in one go, that's what you're going to get. Okay. If you don't have one of those fancy smanchy calculators, not a problem. Okay. If you don't have a, oopsie, a fancy schmancy calculator, oh no, not a problem at all. All right. Because we can do this without the fancy schmancy calculator. We can go say, okay, first we're going to say 15 divided by pi. So I get r squared equals 4,774,482, blah, blah, blah. I keep all the decimals on my calculator. And then I square root it. And it gives me 2,19 centimeters. Okay. All right, guys. I think we need more practice on this. So let's do another one. Let's do another one. Oh, my goodness. Miss Cat is putting some challenging ones here for you guys. Okay. So Miss Cat has said here, all right, calculate the radius in this shape. So calculate the radius in this shape. Calculate the radius in this shape. I'm going to go give you a hint here. You've already done this. You've done this already once tonight. You've done this already once tonight as a hint. Okay. All right. Let's see. So this is a right angle triangle, guys, which means that I've got this line over here. Now there's various things I could do here. I could call this line the diameter, the whole line, or I could say to myself that the, this line is the radius, two of the radius. Hey, we're going to stick to diameter for now. Okay. So to get the diameter squared, I'm going to say 80 squared plus 60 squared, reason, Pythag. Okay, so diameter squared equals uh, 80 squared plus 60 squared. What do we get? What's 80 squared plus 60 squared, guys? All right, I'm seeing some mistakes. Good. 10. Thousand. Good. Nice. All right. Do I want D squared? Do I want the diameter squared? No. So I need to square root both sides. Okay. Which means that the diameter needs to be equal to 100 centimeters. But that gives me just the diameter. That just gives me the diameter. To get the radius, I need to say 100 divided by two, which gives me 50 centimeters. All right, now I see I've got two hands up. I'm gonna take those questions. Do not leave this class. Do not leave this class, guys. It is Tuesday night. Because it's Tuesday night, there's 117 of you currently on this lesson. Miss um, Simone is gonna put the poll up for you. 117 people are going to answer this poll tonight. Hey, we're going to have a record number of grade nines answering this poll. So please make sure you go answer this poll. If you don't have any more questions, thanks so much, grade nines. I'll see the rest of you um, the next time.
am I teach you? If I get to teach you again, if I don't get to see you before your exams, good luck. Good luck for exams. You've got this. Remember to stay healthy. Remember to exercise. Remember to eat well. And good luck for your exams. We've still got a whole lot of people who haven't answered the poll yet. Right, Palisa. Hi, Palisa. Hi, ma'am. Ma'am, what What's happened your... to 60 squared? What happened to? 60 squared. Okay, so 80 squared gives me 6,400, right? And 60 squared gives me 3,600. And 6,400 plus 3,600 will give me 10,000. Oh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Makes sense, Kalisa? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Nomsi? Ma'am? Yes? Once, once again, are the videos um, for, for we recently started our exam and my first MAC exam is on the 10th of November and geometry is on the 14th. For geometry, are the videos of um, straight line geometry, geometry in 2D, yes, including similarity and congruency? Yes, there is definitely geometry. I remember we did some geometry because I was in class and we did some of the geometry. So yes, there's definitely straight line geometry videos that you can go and watch, most definitely. Absolutely. Are there also transformations, ma'am? Yes. Uh, transformations. Ms. Simone, do you know if you guys have done transformations yet? Or if they still... Oh, no, you have done transformations, Ms. Simone. Yes, yes. transformations yes. were this term. So yes, 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 definitely there'll be videos on transformations as well. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. 